Hey guys, this is Skull Knight 43. This is a StarCraft 2 replay. I just play finished playing this game. I thought it was really fun. I enjoyed playing it. It was a fairly short game, only 16 minutes. I mean, I'm sure you're like, oh, well, I I've had a game in 30 seconds. Yeah. Um, but 16 minutes is fairly short. My average game is about 30 minutes. Um, I also have a couple games where I just like die in the first five like minutes because I failed at getting out a uh, military unit if I tried to just work on my economy a little bit too much. So yeah, um, sorry if my mic is a little quiet, I don't know, I might be able to fix it, I don't know, but when I tested it, it seemed a little quiet. Hopefully that won't show up in the video, but if it is, I apologize. So, okay, so let's look at the income tab. It's about the same idea. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's neck and neck. Nothing particularly, um, different. Sorry if I'm, uh, if I hit, if I'm messing up on the theta mode, I'm still learning the ins and outs. I think I have most of this up. Let's look at the APM. Yeah, his is 14, mine is about 40, which is pretty good. I think, I don't know, 40 is about what I normally go at. And anyways, let's look at his base, see what he's doing. I mean, he's going ahead and walling off with his first uh, supply depot. I mean, that's, you know, average move. <laughs> let's look at my, uh, yeah. So I've been trying to keep my minerals and my Vespine down as best I can because I know you're not supposed to have a mass of it. You can always there's always something you'd be using it on. So i I did a pretty good job of that this game. I get my spawn to pull out at uh, 11 and then I'm rebuilding 12 and then uh, I'm just trying to keep as, up as many zones as I can. He's getting his barracks. I mean that's literally like the exact same time. That's wow. I think we we actually build our barracks and our spawn pull at the exact same time. That's, Funny. But uh, anyways, I'm sending my overloads down to um, site as much as I can. Sorry if this is a little laggy. Um, hopefully it won't show up too bad in the video. I, I, I think it'll be fine. Oh, and then as I say that it lags a little bit. But uh, let's look at the income type again. Um, I actually have a substantial lead in income right now. I have a good deal more two more, well, not a good deal, but two more harvesters which, uh, than him, which is pretty good. He is getting his uh, extract a uh, reactor out of oh, refinery. That's what it's called. Um, I'm getting my extractor out. He gets his out a little bit before me. My spawning pool. His barracks finishes. My spawning pool finishes just right, right there. He's getting his refinery is almost complete. Mine's nearing there. I'm getting my queen out as soon as my spawning pool goes down. He's getting out his first marine. <coughs> yeah. I send my drone a uh, drone over here, and I'm about to go up and uh, scout in just a second. My overloads nearing his base. Let's look at the uh, income tab again. Yeah, I have a substantial lead on him in income. Um, I don't know. I guess I guess he just wasn't macroing up again. Let's, let's actually look at his uh, minerals. Yeah, see, he has a bunch of minerals. I don't know what he's saving it up for. I don't know. It's interesting. Look at the uh, army size. Uh, not army size, but uh, APM. It's uh, staying. Look at everyone. I get my queen out. Um, I didn't. I didn't get the spawn love out as soon as I got it. I was a little bit delayed, but that's okay. It wasn't that much. He sends. He sent his SCV into scout, right over here, and then he moves it down here because I guess he thinks I'm going to expand, which is actually dead on. I go ahead and get the expansion at 18, not particularly early. Oh, what I did was I sent the SCV up there. It was blocked off. I saw the marine. I didn't want to to lose my drone, so I just sent him back over and made a hatchery. APM's about consi com pretty consistently at 30. I, uh, ooh, messed up my queen macro right here. She should be spawning more lava, but that's okay. I'm getting out, let's see, I'm getting out three roaches and one more queen at my main base, because I want, as soon as this pops up, I want to already have a queen over there. Now, I could have made a layer right here and then made the queen, or just made the queen down here, but, um, I want to, this is a fairly small map, and since I was fast expanding, I wanted to go ahead and spawn lava so I could go ahead and get this producing as fast as I could, and to also um, have an army over there to protect it. So it's good to have a queen over there to also protect it just in case. <coughs> so yeah, um, I've gotten my roach one out. I, I just my second extractor just built. He's getting his orbital command and a factory, and my layer is being produced. So I'm keeping the spawn lava up ability. My hatchery is just about to complete. I see this SCV and I don't attack it. <coughs> Excuse
excuse me, sorry, hot cough. I uh I see this SUV and I don't attack it. Um I don't know, he just he he I just see it and I don't know, I just I guess I just overlooked it. I didn't really do anything. I'm getting my vultures out. I'm starting to uh go ahead and drone up here, get as many drones. My queen spawned lava as fast as I could. I finally got the down the spawn lava with the queen thing happening. Oh, he's getting two reactors. So, yeah, he is going, oh, one, one on the factory and one on the barracks. And he's got a tech lab on the, uh, on his first barracks. So he's sending in a force to attack. He's trying to build a bunker. I move in. I destroy the SCV. That SCV is going down. It is a damn chance. He's got five marines versus four of my roaches. It's, it's over. My roaches will pick this up. He take, he does take out one of them. Yeah, just one. And I destroy this bunker. He doesn't cancel it. Which is a bad move on his part, but this is Blonde's bank, so forgive him. Um, he he wasn't that bad of a player. He did get he did a good job about the scouting. I can't believe I do not kill this SCB Queen. Go attack it. It's right there. Ugh. I'm joining up, keeping my spawn love ability up as much as I can. Getting out a couple more overloads. I do get supply blocked uh, once or twice in this game, but it was never really an issue. <clears throat> when it happened, I wasn't in like a dire need to get more units out. It was kind of I was I was at a good point. So it, as you can see, I'm getting the uh, roach speed upgrade. He's getting a hellion out. I'm getting two more roaches and an overload because I'm about to get supply blocked. Let's see, and I'm keeping up the spawn lava ability. And let's see, uh, let's look at our army size. Um, it's about the same except mine has a little bit more best beam. But here's the key difference. His supply is at 26, and mine is at 44. So that is pretty bad. But he's had a, he's had a strong army. But the problem is, if we look at our income, I'm getting much more gas than him, double the gas than him, and he is getting a couple, a little bit more minerals, which I guess is okay because he is getting a good deal of marines. I, but I have 30 har harvesters. He's got to be yeah. He's he's just calling in mules for this ruthless man, which is why he can do that with so few harvesters and still almost match me with minerals. But yeah, as soon as the, as soon as the mules go down, the uh, income for the minerals just flies down and my mine is double. I'm double him in both resources. Now I send these roaches into attack. I put them here and yeah, they had their first attack. Had I seen this beforehand, I probably could have survived it, but I didn't and my roaches get taken out, which is pretty bad. If we look at the APM here, um, 3821, you know, um, I do, oh, there we go, there, add a queen, that's how you do it, take out this SCV, oh, got a little bit of video lag there, oh my, hopefully that's not, yeah, oh, come on, computer, come on, pick it up, there we go, alright, so get my spawn lava, sorry about that, um, we'll look at, if we look at army loss, I've actually lost more of the resources because of that really bad micro. He's moving out his force to attack. He sends the hell. He's got a hellion, uh, two marauders, and two marines. Nothing of substantial force. I do have three um, roaches here. My queen's over here. I don't. I haven't seen this. I my queen was over here placing the creep gemma. I move her back. Send the roaches in to take out the hellion first. It's probably not a good idea because hellion was getting too much damage. I should have attacked the Marauder first, because I believe they have, it, yeah, they have versus armor, uh, they do increased damage against roaches, I believe. So I should have gone for the Marauder first, but here's my reinforcements. Uh, nine, nine roaches, even more. Let's look at the production tab. Um, yeah, he, he's just getting some more uh, units up. I spread the creep in my base as much as I can. I need to be spawning more lava, and I don't know why I'm not. But this is mostly full of saturated. I did get an extractor over here, and I'm building a spire. <sighs> now, if we l let's look at the income again. Again, double him. I'm triple him on Vespine. He's still walking off one reactor, I think. Yeah, yeah. He well, he has two reactors, but uh, this one only has two people on it, I believe. Yeah, that looks like only two, maybe even one. That's I don't know. But um getting in the fourth extractor out here because I know I'm about to get some mutas and they're pretty heavy in Vespine so I want to go ahead and get an extractor out so I can get a good number of them. I'm spreading my creep a little bit. I didn't spread it too far this game. I spread this creep over here in case he sends a drop in right here. I sh should have moved another one here but I don't think I do. Let's look at the production tab again. He's getting 
Two in infantry armor. And... Yeah. Wait. Didn't it just have... Oh, that was weird. Oh. Oh, yeah, my bad. And my spires getting close to completion. I've got an evolution chamber out here. So I didn't mention that. Um, because just in case he had sent in some aerial force, I was if I was gonna... Um, I don't know, actually. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, if he, in case he had, like, cloaked banshees or something, I wanted to go ahead and that. Because I've had a lot of problems with cloaked units. So I wanted to go ahead and get that in case I, I needed to place a spore call. I don't place any yet, but I like to have it just in case. I, my spires finished building. I'm, uh, macroing up. Spawning my lava. Oh, I should be spawning my lava. I'm not. Oh, I missed that. I missed that. Um, ooh, maybe I should rewind a little bit. That's a little too much. Oh, come on, baby, look. Yeah, here we go. Uh, I sent in a good roach army. It got <laughs> obliterated. It was a bad job. I moved this roach out here. I was just not paying attention, and that got take taken out. He sends four SCVs while I was attacking that tech lab. I'm able to take out one SCV. Tug this one. Can I get two SCVs? There we go. And then, ooh, three, maybe? No, no. My roach is going to get taken out before I get three. That's okay, I did take out two SCVs for that roach. However, the other lo roaches got taken out. If you look at the army lost, as he's actually ahead of me. However, his income's been so behind that I'm still in the lead in uh, minerals. If we look at the resources, I'm keeping a good jo I'm keeping a good job of keeping it fairly low. Whereas he has got 400, 500, he sh and he's still at 27. He should be macroing up a bunch more units. He has the buildings, he should be getting some like see none of these buildings are making anything and that's probably why he lost the game oh spoilers he loses the game but uh... you guys probably expected that he's not that great of a player so i haven't uploaded any games i have lost it's just w normally when i lose it's because i didn't make an army up or i haven't had really any interesting games where i lost it's not just because i don't want to upload any lost games i will it's just i want to go ahead and get an interesting one so I send these roaches to his front door, and I send these muters around here, because I want to send in the roaches, attack here, and I, I already know they're probably going to get taken out, but I haven't seen too much army um, of his, so I'm, so I send these roaches in, try and take out this uh, planetary fortress, but it's just got too much health. I should have, uh, yeah, I back out here, but then my roaches like aggro back onto it. But I send in my muters, go into his base, I go for his reactor. He sends in a couple marines is all he's got to spend. Me. My roaches are in there doing their thing. I should be focusing on that SCB, do some more damage, but I don't think I destroyed a single building in that attack. If we look at the army loss, I'm double him. But, because that's the, because of bad micro, but my mutas are in here. They're doing some serious damage, taking out this factory, taking out this reactor. He's got a starboard up. I think he just built that. Look at the production tab. I'm getting the Zerg Ground Care Base 1 for my roaches because I'm not going up 12 more roaches. I'm keeping up with my spawn lava. My meters are just going to town on space. Flew up that one, taking out the reactor. And then I'm like, eh, let's go for the base. And I was like, no, let's actually go ahead and take out that SCV. And then he sends the green out, so I close fire it down. And then I'm like, okay, I don't want the star pulled up. I want to be the only one with aerial forces. And look here, he starts to make um, a bunch of missile turrets. Yeah, see, look at this. One, two, three. Can I get a fourth? Yeah, there's a fourth. So I send run my meters over here. Take out that tech lab. He's got the machine out there. It's not going to do anything against me. me. I haven't gotten any upgrades for it. I am getting the tunneling calls for my roaches because I was going to, if this uh, meter attack failed, I was going to use my roaches to uh, go in. But he GG's as soon as I take out all the SCDs with no missile toads. He has no defense with this meter attack and he is done. Thank you for watching. This has been Skull Knight 43. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.